In this video, let's talk about the AI servo mode on Canon cameras. AI servo is an autofocus mode on your Canon camera. The other autofocus modes are one shot and AI focus. When we set the autofocus mode to one shot and half click the shutter release button, the camera will focus on your subject and once it achieves focus, it will stop focusing. This is wonderful for stationary subjects. If your subject is coming towards you or going further away from you, that focus is going to change all the time. That's where AI servo comes in. When we set the autofocus mode to AI servo, as long as we keep the shutter release button half pressed, the camera is going to continuously update focus so that your subject is always in focus. It's not perfect however because sometimes there can be a lag and you will end up with images that are slightly out of focus, especially when you're using the burst mode. Nikon and many other cameras do not have an AI servo mode but what they have is AFC, which is autofocus continuous, which is the absolute same thing as AI servo on Canon cameras. So we have one shot for stationary subjects and servo for moving subjects. So what's AI focus? When we set the camera's autofocus system to AI focus, the camera decides whether to go one shot or servo, which is not ideal because if we are clicking a tiger that's just lounging in the shade, it'll invariably do one shot. But if that tiger gets up and starts moving around, it might take a few frames for the camera to figure out that the subject is now in motion and switch over to servo. So it's important to set the mode according to the subject that we are clicking. When we are clicking wildlife, we invariably always set it to AI servo or AFC, that is autofocus continuous on other cameras. If you'd like to learn how to click super sharp pictures of wildlife with Canon cameras, I have a video in which I explain all the settings that are important to click super sharp pictures of wildlife. You'll be able to learn how to set the autofocus mode, how to set the focus point and certain invisible camera settings which are crucial to get that extra level of sharpness. So please have a look at that video. You'll be able to integrate that information with this and definitely click much better pictures.